this is the directional drilling survey calculation part look at this figures carefully assume this is the area where we are drilling this is a cube and we drill from this point to this point so this is our measure depth line 1 to 2 that is our measure depth this rectangle is our vertical profile or we can say vertical cross section this is our inclination inclination angle which is the angle between the true vertical depth and the inclination part or measure depth and this is our azimuth angle which is with respect to north in the horizontal plane so how to calculate the TVD so we know this 1 to 2 line is our measure depth and this is our inclination angle so we can project this rectangle into this form so here our 1 to 2 is measure depth this is the inclination so we can have sine alpha is equal to this part upon this part hypotenuse so we can have x we can call it it as x so x is equal to md into sine alpha similarly we have this part is equal to md cos alpha if we look back into this so we will have this as md lower part that is this is the x that is md into sine alpha and that is the true vertical depth that is md into cos alpha now let's look at this bottom section so we know this part x is equal to md sine alpha so let's project this bottom surface or plane into this portion so we will have one to three line that is x and that is md sine alpha and this is our azimuth angle beta and that is with respect to north this is called the horizontal departure that is md into sine alpha this is the azimuth angle beta so we can have sine beta is equal to this east west part upon md sine alpha so we can have relation that is east west is equal to md sine alpha into sine beta similarly we can calculate for the cos beta that is this north south part upon this md sine alpha part so we will have north south is equal to md sine alpha into cos beta so these are the three equation what we derived from that diagram so that is the called the tangential method of calculation so we use only one value of alpha on one value of beta beta is the azimuth and alpha is the inclination angle next thing is the average angle method so in average angle method what we do is we take this inclination angle value and this inclination angle value we take two points we can say average angle is the two point method we will average this both the inclination value and we do same for the azimuth value we have a1 a2 then we will average so we will take alpha is equal to alpha 1 that is above alpha 2 that is below and we will take average S we can do same for the azimuth also and we will put that into same equation that is called average angle method we will average the angles here next part is 
balance tangential method above we, what we do is we average the angle here we average the sine or cosine terms so we will have the same this equation but we will take cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 2 divided by 2 like this similarly for east and north we will take that term twice and then divide by 2 same for the north we will take that term twice and then divide it by 2 that is balance tangential method next part is minimum curvature method in this method we will do same thing means in balance tangential method we multiply it with the ratio factor that is rf that will take care of this curvature part in above both equation or method we you we assume the straight path of measure depth between two points and in here we assume the minimum curvature part so we have to multiply the both equations with ratio factor and the definition of ratio factor is tan dl by 2 that is dl by 2 is the angle in degree divided by dl by 2 where dl is the dog like angle which we can calculate from this equation thank you